Don in London, hello, it's July the 11th, 2009. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My addictive substance, alcohol, my behaviour, trying to be whatever I thought you wanted me to be, and trying to be the best I could. I suppose striving for perfection, and really what I've learned over the last few years in recovery, that is to be in recovery from addiction on a daily basis, is it striving to progress one day at a time. So I've changed my parameters, my boundaries of success, if you like, from being uh, materialistic, ego-driven, fear-based, and I suppose, what else, controlling, manipulative, trying to do the best I could, but also trying to look after my best interest, which was to keep you out, or keep the world out, and isolate with my best friend, which turned out to be alcohol. So my best friend, my thinking got me drinking, and my feeling these days keeps me sober just one day at a time. So unusually I'm late in the day doing my video, normally it's in the morning, and as you can see the background is a bit dark. So it's uh, just after nine in the evening. Not my conventional day, but uh, there we go. I went out with a friend to Battersea Dogs Home, which also has cats there as well and uh, we were pick picking a new cat to home, not for me but for them and uh, we spent quite a long time there meeting new cats and uh, having interaction if you like in a very sober way because funnily enough we take very seriously looking after animals as much as we do humans especially, especially if they're going to be part of the household so it was a worthwhile trip and that's partly why I haven't done my video until now in between, I've had a rest, I've been out to a meeting of AA, talked to people within the fellowship, and talked to family, and been part of what is it, whatever else is going on in the day. So it's been good. And in recovery, I guess, we can start the day over however many times we need to when things aren't going quite as we would like. And it was good to hear a good share tonight all about understanding the human condition, that we need forgive rather than resent people. And it's very easy to resent people and also to mistake their attitude and behaviour towards us. So over recent weeks I have noticed one or two with a, a particular attitude which is not to like me or love me, it's to detest me and try and knock me down. And I only became aware of this um, recently and somebody said tonight, which was very important, if you were in their shoes how would you treat yourself or treat treat me and the answer is if I were in their shoes I wouldn't be treating me that way so sometimes we make a decision which is some people don't like us and that's okay so I'm learning just a day at a time that I need not expect the same back from everybody and that not everybody is coming to the same place of normality which is to be open honest and willing to, to behave in fellowship or friendship because you know the world is not quite made up that way and so you know, my rose-tinted uh, spectacles these days, not so rose-tinted. So I just take it as it is and accept and leave people where they are sometimes when they're not going to be helpful or supportive because they can't. They're still doing their best, but uh, for whatever reason, we are not going to get on. So I've been in good company with people who I like and admire and like to be included, if you like, rather than isolated. So thinking and drinking get me isolated, excluded, not sure of the world, and very, very fearful. So these days I'm very lucky. So I go to fellowship meetings of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, it keeps me on track on a daily basis, even if I only go to a meeting in the evening. And I'm glad I did, because it's very easy to get completely overwhelmed and not want to do anything. And uh, there are newcomers in the room, which is important, because they are the lifeblood, if you like. It's not that we want to hold them there against their will. It's to invite them to be a part of what is going on. So, all good. Anyway, AA, the preamble, the statement which keeps it safe, goes like this. Keeps me safe as well. Because I don't represent AA. I, I speak for myself and not them. Or it or fellowship. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other. That they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. 
does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And because there were newcomers in the room tonight, people were very mindful that you know, new people to the fellowship are completely bamboozled, only minutes or hours away from a drink, or most, of, most often that way. And the whole experience is going to be a bit of a nasty shock that people actually do not drink in this world and that they can get by, even though they've been addicted to a substance or behavior. As I say, drink was mine, and my behavior was trying to be low pri profile in the end and not part of and not wanting to live. So how do we get from that to being okay with life, being open, honest, and willing, and uh, how it works? And the simple answer is 12 steps which are suggestions. Nothing is set in stone. We find our way, our path, and we hope we do okay. So it's not easy. And uh, one of the things which I've heard in the last 24 hours is the Just For Today card, which is this one. And I want to read it out because it's about all the time I have tonight. So imagine this. After you've had your day, you can do an assessment of how it's been by using this card. And it says here, just for today, I will try to live through this day only and not tackle my whole life problem at once. I can do something for 12 hours that would appall me if I felt that I had to keep it up for a lifetime. That is, not drinking often. Just for today, I will be happy. Most folks are as happy as they make up their minds to be. Just for today, I will adjust myself to what is and not try to adjust everything to my own desires. I will take my luck as it comes and fit myself to it. Just for today, I will try to strengthen my mind. I will study. I will learn something useful. I will not be a mental loafer. I will read something that requires effort, thought and concentration. Just for today, I will exercise my soul in three ways. I will do somebody a good turn and not get found out. If anybody knows of it, it will not count. I will do at least two things I don't want to do, just for exercise. I will not show anyone that my feelings are hurt. They may be hurt, but today I will not show it. Just for today, I will be agreeable. I will look as well as I can, dress becomingly, talk low, act courteously, criticize not one bit, not find fault with anything and try to improve or regulate anybody except myself. Just for today, I will have a program. I may not follow it, it, it exactly, but I will have it. I will save myself from two pests, hurry and indecision. Just for today, I will have a quiet half hour all by myself and relax. During this half hour, sometime, I will try to get a better perspective of my life. Just for today, I will be unafraid, especially I will not be afraid to enjoy what is beautiful, and to believe that as I give to the world, so the world will give to me. And I think, you know, in, in those carefully chosen words, where it says, just for today, I will be unafraid, especially I will be, not be afraid to enjoy, enjoy what is beautiful, and to believe that as I give to the world, so the world will give to me. And it is about outlook and attitude often that we, we suddenly find that uh, our outlook and attitude starts to improve the more we have more sober days. <coughs> and the more sober days we have, <coughs> excuse me, the better we feel settled, the less we are fearful, the less our ego is rattled, and the less the fear consumes us. So, you know, ego putting on a brave face and fear, all the uh, character extremes that we would prefer not to have. And whilst those are going at like uh, 100 miles a minute, yeah, uh, ego, fear, and brave facing, our shortcomings are there as well. Lack of faith, lack of courage, and lack of self-esteem. So staying sober gives us the opportunity to improve our self-esteem, our courage, and our faith. And it, we have a faith as we choose. It's a very personal thing, and it's very individual. And people have higher powers. Some people have God, some people have good conscience, some people have whatever they choose is right for them. Uh, and that the choice is really to realize that we're not, no bigger than any other human being. And we're no smaller either, no matter what we might think about our intellect or our feelings. We all have a right to be here. That is the way I feel about life. And it's so good, it keeps me in balance. Anyway, as I always say at the end of these, the serenity prayer, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to learn the difference just for today.